What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. If you're somewhat into farming or you just want to watch a kid get some stuff done around the farm, you're in the right place. All I ask for you guys to do is if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and push my content further for more farmers and people like you to see it. It really means a lot to me. Thanks guys. What's up everyone? Thank you so much again for tuning in today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the hog buildings and why we keep the pigs inside and not outside. There's a lot of people out there that think that these buildings aren't safe for the pigs and they're not safe for the people taking care of the pigs with the air and everything like that. There's also a lot of people that just don't understand why we keep pigs inside opposed to keeping them outside. And with it being still too wet outside, I thought it'd be a really great idea to give you guys some more valuable information on pig farming. I know, I know, you guys are probably getting really sick and tired of seeing me in these hog buildings, seeing all the pigs all the time. Uh, trust me, I'm right there with you. I wanna be in the fields just as bad as you guys. I wanna watch me be in the fields, but until this ground gets dried up a little bit, there's no way in hell we're gonna be able to get out there. So it's gonna be a couple more weeks. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and we'll get out there eventually, I promise. Starting with point number one, back then, about 20 years ago, everybody and their dog raised pigs. Everyone was raising pigs because it made a good amount of money. And everybody raised their pigs outside because these buildings weren't even a thing yet. Everybody just thought that's how you raise pigs, that's what everybody did. But then, the first big pig market crash happened. The pig market crash, everybody was over leveraged and a lot of people lost their asses raising pigs. So a lot, it left a really bad taste in a lot of people's mouths and they stopped raising pigs. But guess what? That didn't stop the population from growing. So people had to get smarter on how we were raising pigs and find a more efficient way of doing so. So we had less pig farmers and more people getting born every single day. So what do we do? We found a different way. We found a hog building, a way of producing mass quantities of pigs with less amount of labor involved. So what makes these buildings so great? Why do we raise pigs inside opposed to raising pigs outside? Well, I'm here to tell you. The first thing that makes these buildings so great is the technology that we have nowadays. Every single building has something like this. What this is is a control box. And what this control box does is it controls pretty much everything in the building and gives you all the information you need to know about the building you're working in. It controls everything from the heaters, the fans, the feed system, the curtains. It gives you information like what the room temperature is, what the outside temperature is, how much water the pigs are consuming, so on and so forth. We also have an alarm system. This alarm system, anytime anything goes wrong, this alarm system will go off and it'll call me. And if I don't answer, it'll call my father. And if my father doesn't answer, it'll come off, call my mother. And it'll just keep calling until somebody gets over here and disarms the alarm and we get on top of whatever problem is going on. The alarm can sound off from anything from the temperature to the water pressure, to the control system not working, to anything. It can literally call us about anything we want it to. We just have to set up what zones and things we want, them to, want it to call us about and it'll call us. The second thing that makes these buildings so great is we can control the environment in which the pigs live in. We can keep these buildings around 70 degrees all year round. So these pigs are always comfortable no matter what the conditions are outside. And how we do that is the, with the use of our inlets, our curtains, and our fans. Would you rather have your pigs in a controlled environment or an unpredictable environment? I couldn't imagine raising pigs outside in brutal Iowa winters. I guarantee if you put this barn of pigs and put them outside to raise, I bet about half of them wouldn't make it. The reason I say that is because when it the temperature shifts so bad, especially living in Iowa, it goes from warm to cold, cold to warm, so many times out of the year it's unpredictable. It's really, really hard on the animal, and they are a lot more prone to disease outside than they are inside. So to sum it up, the pigs are always happy and comfortable when they're in here. It's always a nice, comfortable temperature for them, and they're never too cold and they're never really too hot. The next thing that makes these buildings so great is how easy it is to chore them. I already kind of touched on this in the beginning, but we had to find a way more productive and efficient way to take care of pigs because less and less people were taking care of pigs. Can you imagine trying to raise 8,000 pigs outside? It'd be impossible for one person to do all that work. But in here, with the gates, the automatic feed system, the feeders, the waters, these pigs always have water. There's always water pressure, so I never have to put water in a trough or anything like that. They always have feed, so I don't have to do any of the feeding. And with the use of these gates and these pens, it's a lot easier for me to treat. There's no way I could be able to treat a bunch of pigs outside. It'd be a lot harder, they'd be running around, and you wouldn't be able to really corral them. The way these are made, why these are made this way, is 
so it's easier for the caretaker to take care of this many pigs. And with these buildings, the three necessary things pigs need the most is all covered. The automatic feed system, they always have feed every single day, all the time. Water, they always have water because there's always water pressure in these cups. There's always water. Anytime they want to get water, they can drink water. And then the air. The air and the environment is controlled perfectly to keep them comfortable and happy. So now that you have that thought in your head, now try to think about raising 8,000 pigs outside and feeding all them, giving them water, and then hopefully hoping that the weather would be good enough for the pigs to be comfortable. So now we talked about all the things that make these buildings great, let's talk about some of the myths that I hear about these buildings and how they're not so good for the caretaker and for the pig. The first myth that I really hear is the people that live by these buildings or the people working in these buildings are a lot more prone to getting asthma and getting sick and having lung issues. What I'll say about that is I don't have asthma, my brother doesn't have asthma, my father doesn't have asthma, my mom doesn't have asthma. Uh, we have been living here. My dad's lived here his whole life. I've lived here my whole life. My brother's lived here his whole life. And we've lived next on this farm by these hog buildings. And I'll be the first to tell you, I have no lung issues at all whatsoever. And I'll also say my grandpa worked in hog buildings for over, I'd say probably 20 to 30 years. And he worked in hog buildings that were the first hog buildings ever built. Um, and just like anything, when you start it, it's not the greatest and the conditions in those buildings was a lot a lot worse than the conditions that are in this building the air quality in those buildings was horrible compared to the air quality that are in these buildings so to be honest with you i don't really buy the whole asthma thing um i know a lot of people that live by hog buildings i know a lot of people that take care of hog buildings and a lot of them don't have lung issues and a lot of them don't have asthma so i don't believe that for a second the second myth that i really hear is that people think these buildings are horrible that it's so much it's so unbearable to even live by one of these hog buildings because the smell is just horrendous i'll be the first to tell you pig manure does not smell the best working in these buildings you're not going to smell the best but to say to go to the extreme level of saying that it's so unbearable to live by a hog building i think is a little far-fetched uh in Iowa, there is a ton of hog buildings. In our area, in our town, there's a ton of hog buildings. And I have friends, and I have people that I know that live by hog buildings. Hell, I live by a hog building. And I'm gonna tell you, I'll be the first one to tell you, it does not smell that bad. The only time that it smells pretty bad is when you're hauling manure out of these buildings and then onto your field. Then it kind of smells. But to say that it is so horrendous to live buy these hog buildings I think is a complete and utter joke. So those are some of the reasons why I think raising pigs in hog buildings is great and those are some of the misconceptions and myths that I think are total BS when it comes to hog buildings. And I'll just leave you all with this. The reality of it is the world needs fed and more and more people are getting born every single day. By the year 2050 alone we're supposed to have 10 billion people on this planet. The mom and pop farms you see on Instagram are just not going to get the job done. Yeah they're cool, they're cute, you know, I like seeing it, I respect the hustle, but guys, that is not the way that we're gonna be able to feed that many mouths. The truth of it is, we're losing more farm ground to, you know, cities, developments, you know, suburbs. We're losing more farmers because more farmers are, you know, not able to afford doing it anymore, or they simply don't wanna do it anymore because of how much hard work it is. And less and less young people want to even get into this industry because it is a lot of hard work. A lot of kids nowadays just simply don't wanna work. So we must, Accept that these buildings are the future. Mass quantities of livestock is necessary if we're going to be able to feed the planet. We cannot afford to waste our farm ground that we that we use to create crops for livestock. We can't put our livestock on our farm ground. We just can't. We can't afford to. There's not enough farm ground out there. So if we're going to feed 10 billion people, people are going to have to wrap their heads around that these buildings are the way. These buildings are the future. These are necessary for us to be able to feed that many people. And I'm trying my hardest to show you guys what actually goes on in these buildings. If I've looked on the internet, when I started this journey, when I started this page, when I started this YouTube channel, I, I looked up pig farming. I looked it up and all I saw was negative, 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 negative. All the negative things that pig farmers are that were horrible to our animals, that these buildings are terrible, that the manure is ruining the environment and I mean, it's just, it's just bad thing after bad thing after bad thing. And I'm trying my very, very hardest to show you guys that's not the truth. I'm showing you how these 
pigs are getting taken care of. I'm showing you everything that I go through in the process that I do every single day and the tasks that I do. And I hope it's really making an impact and I hope it's really shifting in perspective. If you're somebody that, you know, wasn't really fond of pig farmers or pig farming and you thought that this was a total, you know, you've seen one video of, you know, these buildings being horrible and the caretakers being horrible to their pigs, I hope that I'm shifting your perspective. I'm hoping I'm making a change because that's ultimately what I'm doing and that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to promote agriculture in a positive light. I'm trying to promote pig farming most of all in a positive light because all I see is negative. All I see is negative light. And um, you guys, if you're somebody that just, you know, thinks that all animals should be raised outside because that's, that's what they were meant to be, um, you're just, you're just unrealistic. You're simply unrealistic. And I know that's hard to hear, but it, it's the truth. If we're gonna feed that many people, we have to accept that this is the way, this is the future of agriculture. And um, that's what I'll leave you guys with. I know I'm usually not that serious, but uh, that's just something I really wanted to get off my chest. If you guys like the video at all, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out, pushes my content further for more farmers and people like you to see it. If you like what I'm about, what this farm's about, feel free to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.